Hi, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. My name is Mark and I tinker with bikes and hopefully get to ride them too. I've collected bikes for a few years now and some have never even seen the trails since I've built them, whereas others, they get used all the time. This video is about one of those bikes that has never been out. This is my 1993 Mongoose Amplifier. Back in 93, this was the cutting edge of mountain bike suspension technology, or it was trying to be. It was a super lightweight 6061 aluminium frame designed in conjunction with the legendary motocross suspension guru Horst Liebner. It was innovative, leaving the usual telescopic fork behind and instead using a weird and wonderful linkage fork. Ok, it didn't have much travel, but what it did try to give you was traction and comfort. It was groundbreaking in 93, but how does it stack up today? I've brought it out to my local trails, but instead of risking damaging the bike on the red trails, carrying around my 100 kilos of weight, I thought I'd stick to the smoother blue trail. My amplifier is built up with an 8 speed Dior XD group set and is rolling on a set of carbon spin wheels. It's slightly different how I built up the bike originally, but it's now more in keeping with the spec of the time. We're not going to do anything crazy today, just enjoy the sun and see how the mongoose rides. Let's achieve. <sighs> Something I just noticed, uh, hopefully the camera will see this, but the derailleur in this gear rests on the frame. <laughs> Thank you. 
That POV footage doesn't really show you much, does it? Well, here's some Insta360 footage of the suspension in action. Let's be honest though, this is a 30-year-old bike with 30-year-old suspension and 100 kilos of weight being loaded onto it. It's trying its best, but this footage definitely shows how the suspension was designed to work. It did alright at soaking up the little chatter and smoothing out the ride, but it's not going to do anything for the big hits. The biggest or roughest terrain I've pushed it over was the mini rock garden-ish thing at the end of one of the sections and it was clunking over that. The suspension on this bike is very active, all of the time. You can see it's constantly in action and on the climbs you can definitely feel it bouncing away with you. The age and weight loaded onto it factors aren't going to help things, but hey, it was smooth. I did try preloading the spring on the rear a bit more to stiffen it up, but it didn't really help too much. It's a cool bike with some really interesting suspension, but you may have noticed that one design flaw I found. The rear derailleur is pretty much constantly resting on the frame. I've read old articles mentioning that too, so it's not just my setup. It's the angle of the dropouts. All in all, it was great to get the bike out and see how it rides. It got a few stairs out on the trails too, but nobody really recognised it. The amplifier was a mega spec bike back in 93, and it's such an interesting design concept. It doesn't translate into too much travel, but it definitely gives you that smooth ride and it's awesome looking while doing it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more of this, let me know. I'd love to get out and ride the bikes more. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. He's coming right to me. Hey.